on Russia, I've seen you talking a little bit about the idea that the frozen assets uh, of Russia should be seized uh, to help rebuild Ukraine. And, and I wonder, I've heard from Europeans that they think that that's legally not doable. And of course, also, if it is doable, it also leads to the possibility uh, that you know, these sorts of levers can be used against other countries, uh, potentially freezing uh, investments uh, and causing no un un unexpected knock-on consequences. Wondering your thoughts there. So this is a rare case where the right thing to do and the expedient thing to do are the same thing. As between American taxpayers paying for uh, Ukraine and Russia, which has a debt to Ukraine, having for all the damage it has done, having its collateral on that debt, namely the frozen Russian assets uh, seized, it seems to me very clear that uh, the assets are the better means of supporting uh, Ukraine. What I'm told by pretty authoritative lawyers is that uh, the legal claim here is very strong. These are assets that are already frozen, frozen assets in the context of the Iraq war were used for this purpose. Uh, certainly Russia has seized any number of uh, foreign assets that are currently located in Russia. Russia certainly didn't have any compunction about uh, German or Japanese assets in the context of uh, the Second World War. So I think the legalities here are actually uh, very clear. And if we set a precedent that countries that engage in such wanton aggression that their heads of state are labeled as war criminals, that the official state assets of those countries are going to be used to mitigate the damage that their aggression caused, that feels like a very good precedent uh, to set in the world. And I don't believe that that's going to point towards the seizure of our country's uh, assets. And even if it did, we don't have uh, any significant level of foreign reserves that are currently held abroad.